Virgo, this is soul. And Virgo, this is your week ahead. Energies are going to begin um, May 11th, start May 11th and end May 17th, 2020. The messages will be for Virgo sun, moon, and Virgo rising signs. All right, Virgo, I hope all is well. Uh, new week, new energy. This week I'm using the modern medieval, medieval tarot to deliver your messages. And before I begin your messages, uh, Virgo, I just want to make a quick uh, announcement. Uh, I do read the comments. I really do appreciate the comments coming through. But I'm asking if um, people would refrain from um, leaving comments that are, you know, uh, conspiracy laced, based, politically biased, based. Um, people writing uh, stuff like, you know, like the COVID-19 is a sham and a hoax. It is not a sham and a hoax. People are dying, okay? Uh, I don't want that on my uh, channel. Uh, so if you are, um, not saying that you are a Virgo, if you write those things, because I do read all the comments, it will be deleted. And if you are a subscriber and you like my vid videos, you will be blocked. I'm sorry. I just, moving forward, I'm just not dealing or tolerating any of that foolishness. We're, I mean, the, the country and the world is going through too much stuff. There are forums where people like that are, you know, who want to express those conspiracy uh, theories and stuff that they can uh, go to that, you know, and let their voice be heard, but not on my channel. Okay, so with that being said, Virgo, uh, sit back and I hope you enjoy your reading. All right, let's get started here. Energy for Virgo, Virgo Sun, Moon, and Virgo Rising Signs. And we're going to start May 11th. The energy is going to start May 11th and end May 17, 2020. So let's see. There are some reversals here, Virgo, but not to worry. I think I only used this deck like once once before. I was going through some decks to see which one I wanted to use this upcoming week. And I said, oh, let me work with it. Excuse me. Let me work with this and see what uh, kind of energy comes up. So. Shadow card energy for you, uh, Virgo. We're going to start off. And maybe energy that plays out along with the rest of the cards that will be selected for you. And we have, well, it's your energy. Five of Pentacles. All right. So the Five of Pentacles. Of course, the Five of Pentacles is about the worry and the concerns about money losses or just money in general. Uh, it may be that some of you may be feeling like you're short changed or you don't have enough money to meet expectations. When it comes to bills, uh, whatever this uh, it still could, you know, indicate charity too. you know, donating to charity, the ones who are uh, less fortunate than you are. So it doesn't always have to be that it's the person that I'm reading for or the sign that I'm reading for, that they're the ones that are experiencing all this worry, concerns and it's related to finances. OK, this is still a card of uh, someone um, being stubborn giving you the cold shoulder treatment. I hope that Virgo, you're not giving someone um, the cold uh, shoulder treatment treatment, but this is assisting the poor, the helpless, the homeless, the needy. All right. So let's just hope um, whatever worries or concerns that you may have that it's, it's temporary because it's a five. And I always say that there's going to be uh, when the fives and the tens show up, a potential of energy of it showing are happening for you and then there's a change of energy and normally it's for the better and already we're starting off with the better because the empress is the focus for you the major arcana this is about uh growth and expansion this is something new developing for you this is you know she's holding the baby there so someone could be if it's not a virgo i'm reading for someone that you know is delivering this is pregnancy news this is mother nature so you know the anticipation of uh lifting the restrictions and relaxing folks to go outside on a small scale uh basis uh maybe the empress is showing up here to uh you know for me to tell you to go out and reconnect with mother nature uh and ground yourself and enjoy god's beauty because um you know it might be helpful to you but just be safe you know, still social uh, distance yourself when necessary. You want to be safe for yourself, your family, and also the community. All right. So uh, take advantage of the imprints card because it's a very positive card to show up. Any 
thing that shows up after the imprints card, because I always say when a positive um, major arcana shows up, that is your focus. It doesn't take away the energies of any negative cards that uh, are dismiss all of the energies of the negative cards, but it does diminish it somewhat. Now, the interesting thing here is the uh, card that is your immediate representing your immediate environment and that's the two of cups so that's the relationships okay so yeah definitely this could be someone oh somebody giving birth to twins possibly all right two of cups is showing up here that's my invitation card cups do represent children for me but spending quality time with your significant other your family your children could be your extended family it's the development of new friendships it's the development of new romantic uh relationships whatever that is energy is uh, spending uh like i said before quality time with like-minded individuals uh, what you put out you're going to get back so there's reciprocity two of cups represents cancer scorpio pisces up next is the um i started to say king but it's the knight of staffs it's reversed though this is the knight of wands so the knight of staffs this is a court card so but it could be um Whenever these knights show up, remember, I always say that they're about reliability, you know, either when it comes to the Knight of Cups, that's someone coming along and offering uh, possibly love or emotional support. When it comes to the uh, pentacles, that could be financial or someone that you can rely on or depend on uh, when it comes to the Knight of um Swords is someone who is, you know, could be critical, but they're using their analytical mind against their emotional heart, making uh, decisions and making major moves. When it comes to this Knight of Staffs, uh, the Knight of Staffs is also, too, that type of energy where, you know, the energy comes in quickly when it's in the upright and there's an assistance, possibly. Now, that could also be an indication of um, a relationship that is still going to be formed. So keep in mind, it's following the two of cups. That's the relationship card. So someone is either waiting to connect with a, a relationship. Now, it may or may not be a, 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 you know, a direct or true fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, but somebody's waiting for a relationship uh, to commence or to begin. When it's not related to a relationship to commence or begin, then the Knight of um, Staffs or the Knight of Wands, I apologize if you hear my dog snoring, um, it's not somebody that you can rely on, okay? There's somebody, there's the type of energy where, uh, just let me give you an example, that they uh, offer to assist you or help you in some form or fashion. When it's in the reverse, they've, you know, they change their commitment or there's the lack of commitment to helping you out or assisting you. So be careful about that. Virgo, that could be family members. That could be romantic partners. That could be friends. Somebody just quickly changes their mind and assisting you. All right. And that's all I'm going to say about that. And when they're especially, especially the, uh, the night of status, because they quickly change their mind or change some sort of position about either helping you or assisting you or something. But I'm still going to stick to the fact that there's a relationship, a new relationship that is about to commence for some Virgos here. All right. So now we have your energies, the two of coins, uh, two of pentacles is showing up here. So that can still represent balancing your checkbook or a little bit of money still coming in. Uh, you're juggling two jobs, you're juggling two relationships, whatever the two of pentacles is, it's just throwing you off balance a little bit, but I wouldn't worry about that as much because it's only a two. Okay. So that's your energy, Virgo, and then the energy of um, Taurus and Capricorn. Up next is the page of swords. So this is speaking your truth, owning your truth, talking or getting to the heart of any matters that are concerning you, using that sword to gain clarity. And uh, I always say with the sword, page of swords showing up here, if there's anything that is required of your signature, um, you know, Virgo, make sure that you read the fine print before you sign off. OK, so this is a court card in conjunction with the two of cups. Then again, that could be that new relationship and the energy is younger or you could be the younger one or um, it doesn't really matter. Somebody's young here. <laughs> Somebody's going to be connecting possibly with somebody young. Or it's you who is young. 
gaining clarity with that page of swords, using that sword to make decisions. And the pages always represent new. So new decisions, new actions. Okay, so keep that in mind. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Up next is the ooh, the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so you have the major arcana, the Wheel of Fortune. We have started off with the Emperor's card for you, Virgo. So this is the good luck, good fortune card. This is the fate and destiny card for me. So it could be that some of you, however the case may be, might be at the right place at the right time and something very fortunate happens for you. If you're that Virgo that likes to gamble, this could be big winning. So, you know, as I always say, gamble responsibly. The turning of the wheel is the fortunate for someone when something uh, turns in your favor that may not have been in your favor uh, previously. All right. So that's the wheel of fortune. And remember, it's a, num a number 10. So it's not going to be it's, it's the energy to show up possibly, but it's not going to stick around too long. All right. So take advantage of it. Wheel of fortune. Got good luck and uh, good fortune on your side. Up next is the six of staffs. Six of staffs is the six of wands. So again, it's um, something positive moving forward. This could be uh, light traveling. It could be long distance traveling if anyone is traveling at all. But also, too, it's some sort of victory and success. It's movement and some endeavor. Six of staffs represent Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, male or female. So not too bad, uh, Virgo, not too bad. All right, so the last card is the ace of staffs. All right, so you have the Ace of Staffs, very fiery here, and this is news and surprises. Aces, again, are the start of something new, so new beginnings are initiating, being inspired to do something creative, re-spark some old interest that you may have had and may have put aside because of, uh, you know, family responsibilities or work. Uh, so, yeah, being fired up and uh, things possibly heating up. I like the aspect, though, of something arriving that could also be part of a surprise, but also too could be part of, uh, well, it could be both part of a surprise and good news, but it's coming in quickly. Wow. So Ace of Staffs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female, it mirrors the will of fortune. <clears throat> so maybe somebody... <laughs> Excuse me. Maybe somebody does hit that uh, power ball. Um, somebody comes into some form of uh, a substantial large amount of money in some way. Wow. That would be nice, right? All right. So, Virgo, this is what I have for you this upcoming week. Whatever you choose to do, please do it safely. You know, I always encourage that. Stay strong. Stay positive. Um, and I'm sending you out quite a bit of love and light your way until I talk to you again. Be well. Bye.